I remade every mob into realistic rainbow friends in Minecraft. Let's make an ultra realistic blue from a piglin. Move his nose around. Make this into a drooly mouth. Add the blue, then the rest of him blue. And now we need a more detailed texture. That's looking like a better blue. Now for his crown, we could make him more realistic and turn him into king blue with a cape. Unfortunately, this king still has not figured out how to fix the drooling problem, but he's officially taken his place atop the throne. He's moving slowly, but he just spawned a bunch of little blue minions. There's not gonna be a single soul left behind. This villager has been completely surrounded. Two went this direction, and the rest of them are chasing some villager out over here. It's too many minions. We can make this villager into a super realistic red. Shift the arms sideways. We need the lab coat on here. Redhead with massive eyes. More precise texturing around the coat itself and give him a super realistic mad scientist look with red hair. We've officially turned him into an ultra mad scientist. Looks like he has been through a lot of experimentation and those little science experiments that he's been working on, we can see them used against a mob. Oh my goodness. Oh, down that one goes too. <laughs> it's everything and they go down in one hit. All right, all right, all right, all right. That's enough. Let's remake realistic orange using a spider. Get a crocodile shape in place for his head. Two eyes on top with scales all the way down his back. Plaster him completely orange with realistic crocodile legs. Just adjust the texture slightly. This crocodile is looking a little bit long with some extremely sharp toenails. Our orange crocodile summons a set of evoker teeth. Look at how long the real Beaches too. Let's get a northern viewpoint. So many teeth. Looks like Blue has established his throne over this village. Let's just plop down Orange right here and Mad Scientist Red as well. Orange is trying to quickly back away and he does launch out some teeth, but it didn't do very much at all. Oh my gosh, that was quick. And where in the world did Red go? Oh, it looks like he tried to escape. He got pushed into the water. He manages to throw one of his weird potions out. The minions are pushing him backwards. He's stuck under the chapel. And now he might just... Oh, okay. He's just blowing things up nonstop. All right. Stop it with the explosions, you crazy man. I think he's just gonna unfortunately... Oh, yep. There he goes. This wither could be remade into realistic black. Plop off the head. Pull his face out just a bit. Using another very tiny skull. Stretch it out sideways. Basically a horn crown. Massive arms. Werewolf style legs. And then add the textures. He looks like an absolute loot unit. Some crazy looking horns on top. He can do a jumping stomp that sends a fury of fire. They're trying to get as close as they can to take him down, and every single time he stomps, all of them are taking damage. But even in the water, you can see the shockwave does hit and knocks that husk out. Of course, we can use a creeper to make a realistic green. Start by gassing everything just completely up. Ooh, let's make one of those inflatable air guys that you see outside a car dealership. Super long arms, solid green, a couple black hair bits, and hand bits, and a classic big smile. This dude absolutely looks like he's floating in the wind. <laughs> We've also put him on a little roller because he's not going to have legs. Watch how he attacks. He goes in, gets caught by the wind, and smacks down with a little sort of headbutt. Can't imagine it's doing very much damage, though, because he must be entirely full of air. Let's use a slime to make a realistic gold. Increase the slime ratio. Add a couple corner limbs. A little bit taller. I say we go for a realistic gold chest. We need a wood color. That's good. Add some steel. Open the chest up and stack on those gold coins. If I ever came across a pot of gold and it started running away from me like this guy, I might be a little concerned that pot of gold is cursed. And if you're ever interested in watching somebody waste money, it's this guy. He's throwing pure solid gold. Even the little guy, he's wasting coins. I'll see if I can slowly back up and catch him as he tosses them. They go right through me. Using this ghast, we could remake a realistic pink. Wish the face. We'll try for an alien look. Some sort of antenna potentially here. A very square mouth. That's looking pretty smooth. And a real alien could be on top of a UFO. Pink is absolutely not tiny. Riding an obnoxious UFO. Alien pink can levitate mobs so that anybody nearby can target them in the sky. And this husk is being levitated 
activated right now, I'll just get targeted so easily by the gold chest. Oh boy. Bye bye. Let's remake this sheep into a realistic purple. Center of the brain, six. And the body. Multiply these sheep arms so they can be extremely long. That's long. Purpleify everything. Purple could be a lint monster with lint all the way around. This realistic purple looks so long. And then just the lint sticking off <laughs> looks kind of gross. As purple attacks, purple will develop static electricity that will shock mobs. Ooh, yikes. We'll remake this ground into a realistic lime. Just snag the torso here. I'm thinking a lemon lime soda pop. Based on those classic colors with the classic soda pop top, we have a few eyes and the lemon lime. And those eyeballs look like they are on a sugar rush. You can see the carbonation coming out of this pop. If I could taste this soda through the screen, oh, I'd drink the whole thing up. As purple's taking damage, the soda will burst and actually recover some of the damage that purple's been taking. We could make a realistic yellow using this chicken. Extend the neck out, pull off the beak, and the red wobbler. Let's go for an ultra realistic yellow ducky. Put in some wing texturing, a better beak. That looks pretty floatable. Now this just might be the best one so far, sort of. Those wings are a flapping and the happiness is showing. He can charge up and then he'll launch himself sort of like an angry bird at mobs. More importantly, when he's under attack, he can charge up and then jump away from it. And realistic ducks probably aren't that strong. The ender dragon is perfect since maroon is a dragon. Toss on the maroon color, extend the neck out away. Now for a more realistic dragon head, a bunch of scales, extend the tail. And maroon has a poisonous breath that can be released leaves a lingering damaging effect and it covers a massive area look at all of these husks sitting in it trying to get the yellow oh boy only one left already this is going to be juicy i think our best bet might be bring in everybody as fast as possible oh no it looks like yellow's being bullied down here by a bunch of blue minions maroon has yet to cast any sort of fire oh i spoke too soon there it is blue actually looks to be taking cover behind the building you coward. Orange is cornered over there as well. He might be stuck. Oh my goodness. The crispy soda pop might be the first to go down. Oh no. And then he goes down. Fly away, yellow. Use those wings. Yellow might actually make it out of this. Yep. Yeah, no. That's the rest of yellow. It's just pink and maroon that have been able to survive. And there goes King Blue being floated up. Are they going to be able to avoid damage long enough? Because King Blue does have a long shot. But where has Purple been this entire time? And Green shows up too. They must have been handling minions out back. But there's another army of minions coming in right now. They're taking way too much damage from maroon up top. But without the healing from the soda pop, how many more hits can maroon take? There's the answer right there. 